Okay, we're going to take a look at the tools that we need to make this Unico installation. I think you're going to find that most of these are very common tools that you should have anyway. Let's take a look at the first item. First item is a mask. There's a lot of insulation that we're going to have blown around. This is to protect your lungs. Remember, wear eye protection. We have a set of eye goggles here. We're going to be talking about these next two tools when we talk about the outdoor unit. This is a flaring tool and this is a cutter in a So we'll be talking about that later when we talk about the eye series. Now these two tools right here, flashlight and a mirror, are what we're going to put into the closet to see how the two inch or two and a half inch supply tubing aligns with the downstairs. I think everybody should have a VOM or some people call this a multimeter. This should be in your truck along with a level right here. Now, a little tip. Get a serrated knife like this. This is something you can get at probably a grocery store. Uh, this will make the cutting of the two inch or two and a half inch supplies very easy. Good thing to have with you. A level is of course needed in case to make sure that we are properly aligned when we mount our air handler. This is kind of a neat little trick that we use. This is a hole saw that we have right here that we use a basketball that we cut in half. So when we drill our hole it'll catch all the plaster and dust and make for a neater installation. Now, there's two tools that we have here that are specific to Unico. This is one. This is our turbo meter. It's our part number turbo meter. This is the only device that we have found that accurately measures wind sp uh, our airflow. You take this on the first setting, that's wind speed in knots, you double it, and that gives you your CFM. This is a 5 16 nut driver. Utility knife, we'll be using this later to cut the X pattern into our fiberglass insulation. This is again something that you'll probably find to be very helpful for measuring your outlets with Unico. This is just a coat hanger wire. We'll be showing you the procedure where we drill a pilot hole, push our coat hanger wire through it, and then we use the flashlight and the mirror to make sure everything's aligned correctly. Now you also have a standard 3 8 inch drill right here, cordless drill. It has its own drill bits. This is another size hole saw that we have. Again, we're going to be using both 2 inch and 2 and a half inch tubing on this job. So there is a difference in the hole saw that you'll be required to use. So we have that here. We also have a right-handed snips. This is our uh, cordless drill backup power supply. Off to this corner, we have our extension cords and our drop light so that we can see when we're up in the attic. We also have the Unico 54 clamp pliers. The Unico clamp pliers and the Unico turbo meter are the only two items that are specific to the Unico job. In these small bags right here we have our miscellaneous parts. We have our screwdrivers, we have a set assortment of both blade and Phillips head screwdrivers, uh, wire strippers, etc. So this should all be out on your toolbox. And again, this is going to be required. This is a, a Sawzall that we're going to use. We do include self-tapping screws. Typically we use 5 16 self-tapping screws. We have a sawzall right here. That's going to allow us to cut the hole for the return air. So that's the basic tools we are going to require. As I say, it's a pretty standard tool set. One small thing, this little blue item right here. Most of your tape companies sell this. This is to ensure that you have a nice, tight, smooth tape finish. So that's basically it. Uh, again, we do have gloves. Again, good idea, good practice to get into if you're working with sheet metal. Sheet metal is sharp and you want to wear gloves whenever you're working with it. Same as you want to wear eye protection.